Sorry for the interruption. There was a technical glitch. Thank you for your patience. Yeah, Madhusa, please continue. Yes. Uh, thank you so much, everyone. Uh, I'm sorry for the interruption. And now you can see where we have stopped, right? Let me share my screen. Got it? Right. This is where we left. Um, we have completed I do, we do, and you do process. And the you do, we can invite as many students as possible for their uh, presentation. And after that, you can give feedback. And after giving feedback, the children have to write their descriptions in their notebook. Now, uh, this is what exactly the entire process we have seen so far. I do is a teaching period. And whereas we do and do, you do comes under practice period as you have observed. And lot of uh, uh, generation and language generation and scope for every child to participate. That is what the real crux of this program. And please uh, try to follow all these steps that we have followed during this picture interaction. And we have seen and we have witnessed wonderful results with all our students. And everybody is taking part actively in their interaction and during the classroom activities. So thank you for your wonderful participation. And I'll be happy to clarify your doubts if you have any or otherwise we'll move to the next session reading session and after now we have completed pre-reading under this pre-reading activity the first one is i do only the teacher in practice with the students and producing one description and the second one is we do Whereas assigning the task to the group students and then groups will prepare and present and they will prepare one more description. And after that, we will assign the task to the student. That is individual task as a home assignment or that comes at the third period. And children will come and present on day three and third period. And in this third period, children will uh, present their versions on the, that is the third description. And after uh, giving feedback, children will refine their writing description again, and that will be the uh, fourth one. So with this one picture description, uh, children will get almost all four descriptions clearly. And this is a very good, uh, you know, like input for the children. Like we have followed, we have created the subtext and the teacher has given the model reading, reading allowed by the teacher and children have written their version and they spoke a lot. Language generation has taken place. And so that in this way, we hope that we can help every child to improve their standards and especially they can communicate very well. So now, uh, I hand over the session to David to continue with the reading part. Thank you each and everyone for uh, attending the session and making this program, you know, like it should be fruitful and I'm sure that it will be really useful in your day-to-day -day classroom process. Mr. David, I hope you are ready. Thank you so much, uh, Madhusa. That was a wonderful presentation. 
this evening uh, we are trying to understand what this lip is and in that we have two important uh, parts the transaction happens in two phases actually one is in teaching another one is in practice actually we have been following this one in one way or other way but practice has been given much importance in this lip model sir has uh, so far discussed the picture interaction part from there i'll be taking to the reading part there also we are not going to discuss everything but we will see one example each one for teaching period one for practice period in english let us be a little clear about this one in the plan that we have we will not have teaching period and practice period but we will look into i do part as teaching part teaching period and we do and you do as practice periods please note this very important point we will not have teaching and practice periods separately in the plan in the lesson plan that we are going to write we have already developed a lesson plan according to the guidelines of scrt apscrt where we have uh, three columns that those are i do we do and you do and now the question would come out like where is the teaching period where is the practice period so let us not get confused all i do part is the teacher's part so that is modeling part that is discussion part that is demonstration part so that is the teaching period when it comes to we do as we have already discussed it is with the help of the teacher the student tries to do certain things it is in the group the teacher the students and the teacher everyone work together it's a collaborative work so he gets enough practice there also so we do part is the practice part that starts and in i in the you do part the last part seriously the student starts working on his own so he practices the same thing that what he has learned in the class so here all the students will be part of this and everyone will get a chance to get clarification to get support from the teacher i like to share my ppt hope you would uh, you'll be seeing my ppt here so this is what we have discussed theme that is the picture based interaction madhu sir has beautifully explained and production of an oral discourse also happened many students started speaking and it is also the speaking happened only because there was some blackboard writing or green board writing there was lot of green board writing madhu sir has made his students to write on the board so there was lot of oral discourse teacher was speaking uh, to the students and the students were responding so this all happened so picture is very very important for every transaction here and sir uh, narrators the third thing is the narration part so oral narration also happens in the upcoming session upcoming part that is reading portion in the reading part we will have narration that is oral narration we call we will just check in how to write an oral narration now so we are moving to the reading part and if time permits we will discuss in detail writing a discourse and writing on how to do editing if the time doesn't permit the recordings will be there please try to watch them so when it comes to reading reading we all know that already we have been doing used to this one the process is very simple like we divide the lesson into 3 to 4 slots 3 to 4 slots it depends on the size of the lesson and the complexity of the lesson the second important thing is each reading slot should be transacted with suitable and an appropriate picture i have put these two points in red in red color there is a reason for this see picture comes in here we are actually talking about reading part and why come this picture here follow the steps of picture interaction here so 
when we come to the main lesson part, message lesson, the slots are divided, and now we start transacting the lesson. But we should make use of a picture, an appropriate picture or a suitable picture to make the student easily get into the reading. Usually what we used to do is, we used to make children sit in their own places and ask them to read. When they are reading individually, they used to underline, they used to put star, they used to put a question mark and so on. So that is a usual practice. Yeah, we do that one, but before that, we need to do some picture interaction. Now you would put a question, picture, in reading part, picture, why? For reading, why do we need picture? So this is a question in your mind. So this time in LEP model, in, the, in this lesson plan, for every reading slot, for every reading segment, prior to that, there should be picture. If you closely observe the text given to the students, the lesson will have, pictures there and here. There'll be big pictures, there'll be small pictures. In each page, at least there'll be one picture to, more, to actually bring home the point that the students should get some kind of input from picture too. So that is the main intention behind giving illustrations there. So each page will have at least one picture. So you can pick that picture or you can even collect another suitable picture so that the students will get some information from that picture what happens while transacting picture is there will be keywords that will be derived, will be getting from the students. We will be trying to uh, bring some sentences, simple sentences. We'll make the students to use those sentences to build a few more sentences even. And finally, we will try to make a conclusion or a simple uh, summary of that one, what we call subtext. So from picture, if you could get these three things like keywords, simple sentences and a simple summary or a gist of it, gist, gist of the picture, the student will get tuned for the uh, real lesson that he is going to read. We have divided the class, or sorry, we have divided the lesson into three slots, for example. The, before we transact slot one, take a picture which would best suit that slot one, and then try to transact picture as we have done so far in the previous session by Madhu sir, in the similar lines, we will be transacting it. Why we take picture is, the simple reason is a picture is worth a thousand words. Take that lesson and describe in whatever manner you want to. The student won't get so many times the thought or the image that you have, or that I have in our minds. The students try to imagine things, but actually they will get very good conclusions when they look at pictures. Showing a picture is worth a thousand words. Taking that uh, as, a, uh, as a very motivating line, let us have one picture for every slot. You can read there, reading slot one, day one, for example. Picture interaction should happen. While we interact picture, we'll get keywords of that picture. We'll get some phrases or statements, we'll generate them. And we can even generate a subtext of that or a simple summary of that. This will help the student to read the main lesson or main slot. And after that, there is some oral narrative. That means, for example, if there is no possibility of subtext there, if we can't construct a simple summary of that, we can give a oral narration because that is a picture that is not there in the textbook or maybe in the textbook. We can give a oral narration. We can read aloud. We can speak aloud there and have some interaction, a few questions. I'll show you an example now. It is from the lesson plan that we have prepared as a model. I'll try to share my lesson plan. I think you can see my lesson plan here. So after picture interaction, we come to reading segment one. I hope all can see this one. Reading segment one. Ramu's mother is busy at home listens to them speak up to that part I have taken as a segment one. Now, to transact this one, to transact this one, usually what we used to do is individual reading, collaborative reading, and then scaffolded reading and reading allowed by teacher. Yeah, all of us agree to this one because we used to do this one. Now, what we do before this fifth period is, 
this is what we do in the fourth period reading segment one that is interaction using picture let us not get confused here because picture interaction that is the face sheet what we have in our textbook is already interactive already transacted and that process is beautifully explained by madhusudan so there also i do part that is teacher interacted one picture and in the we do part teacher has given two three to four pictures and then made the groups to interact and then finally there were so many pictures given or one picture is given to all the students to interact on that so three days passed by three periods got over there and now on the fourth day we have selected one slot in this lesson vegetable or the vegetable shop in reading part segment 1 we started with picture look at this one this is the picture taken from the text in the first page i mean in the first page of the lesson we have this picture i have taken this for transact uh, interacting so before we make them read the lesson let them settle down there and then discuss a few things interact with the picture there so that they'll get some key words they'll get similar lines they'll get some subtext let us look at this one ask the students to observe the picture and answer the questions given below looking at the picture let us ask few questions very simple questions are given here students would definitely respond to those so this is the i do part we have three columns this is the i do part so as a teacher i am transacting this one so i ask questions and then i tried generating subtext so present a brief oral narrative to introduce the character and context given in the picture who is there in the picture why did this boy come there what is he asking guess so all these guess works happened and we got some words we got similar uh, some lines a few lines a few sentences or phrases it may happen even in telugu in, in our mother tongue later we we can megaphone them in english and then we try to generate subtext if subtext is not getting caused it's not possible to generate with the help of those cues given we can give a oral narrative so the teacher should get ready with the oral narrative teacher should know should know beforehand what he should tell about this picture so oral narrative is made by teacher the boy's name is ramu usually he comes to the market along with his mother one day ramu noticed that his mother was busy preparing some special dish ramu your aunt's family is visiting us today really ramu said excited there are no vegetables at home said her mother his mother you will have to go to market and get vegetables she said okay ma i'll do that here is the money don't forget to get cloth bag to get vegetables okay ma said ramu so this is oral narrative generated by the teacher why should we give oral narrative when there is no possibility of creating subtext we need to give oral narrative so every picture should have the subtext at uh, uh, finally or a oral narrative by the teacher so here in this picture finally we come to the interaction part where there will be some questions based on the oral narration given by the teacher and then we can elicit some responses from our students so why we take this picture again simple answer here is we are preparing them to read the text now you may ask a question like this the picture may not be very relevant to the text that is given on that page or to that segment it may not suit then we can pick any other picture we can uh, collage a picture we can draw a picture or we can gather a picture which is which will bring out some responses which will be suitable to that uh, slot that we have selected because when he, the student is going to read the uh, paragraph if he is not able to read a few words there and understand how is it possible for him to understand the lesson comprehend the lesson on his own i say this one because we have the old process like this where the student reads individually where the students form in groups and reads collaboratively where the students get some kind of scaffolded help from the teacher where the students will listen to the teacher's uh, read aloud version so here there is no explanation part actually the student tries to understand on his own so picking up a picture and interacting before the slot before the reading portion would help him or would and make him understand what is there in the text that is given because text is always for the student greek and latin 
picture is enjoyable picture will definitely give them you know joyful kind of an environment so we need to bring a picture for every segment so that is a uh, uh, some of that i want to make now i like to show you excuse me now i like to share you share the same ppt that i was trying to so picture interaction happens sir. first keywords we generate we elicit we generate a few sentences or statements and then we make a subtext if subtext is not going to happen we can give a oral narrative which is prepared by us beforehand and then there should be some interaction and then finally groups will read they will read in groups they will read individually and then they'll copy down the subtext or the synopsis or we we call it as oral narrative what we have written on the board uh, that can be copied down by the students so some kind of writing happens here before he reads the lesson now sir on the day 2 look at this one excuse me yeah on day 2 let us look at this day 2 slide text that is slot 1 or segment 1 ramu's mother is busy at home it is taken from the text class 6 unit 5 at the vegetable shop ramu's mother is busy at home to listens to them speaking so this is the slot that we have selected. So on that day, he reads first individually, and then there'll be collaborative reading. There'll be some kind of scaffolding, and then reading allowed by the teacher happens towards the end. So before this, there should be picture interaction. So that is what we have seen so far. So what the, how is LIP plan is different how is this new plan is different from the older one is only one thing we are adding one picture before transacting the text the segments that we have made so if we have three segments then there will be three pictures that we need to transact before we get into this one so i repeat sir if we have divided the lesson into three segments for each segment there should be a picture which is close to that one uh, should be taken either from the text or from the outside source and then transact the picture first and then go to the uh, text form so that uh, the students will try to understand the text on their own. And I like to take you to this individual reading process, which is uh, always, you know, we know and we have been doing it. We'll quickly uh, go through these slides. Sir. So reading process, individual reading, it happens after picture interaction. Teacher gives instructions such as uh, like read from passage, from read the passage from this line to that line. And then please do not consult at this point. Don't ask any questions. Guess the meaning with the help of the subtext that we have already generated. And then uh, put a question mark. And then if you do not understand, if you put a star mark, if you like the idea. So these are regular uh, procedure that we follow. And then collaborative reading, the process is same. Like they sit in groups. And then they take turns and share with their members, share with them what you are not able to understand, share with the groups the ideas you like most. So these are the direct instructions that we can give them. And then share, sharing between groups happen in collaborative reading. And then teacher facilitates the sharing of ideas between groups and teacher asks a set of comprehension questions to see whether they have understood the passage. So these are some images. We are actually blessed with the desks and benches now. So students can sit in whatever comfortable way that they can. They can even sit down there. Otherwise on the bench, they can adjust themselves and sit and do some kind of collaborative work. Here. They're reading, somebody is questioning there in this image too. A girl is asking that, uh, what does that word mean to the other girl? And the two boys are talking there. So it happens when collaborative reading happens, they will try to understand uh the things that they do not know peer learning happens here and this one is very interesting extrapolating the text so here sir this is very important uh, to make them understand the text we ask questions however we are already been benefited by the picture beforehand the picture has already given a kind of a exposure to the text that they are going to read and this extrapolating the text this part Actually, the teacher asks few analytical questions or inferential questions, costs, consequence questions, reflective questions, like so that to make them understand whether they have understood the passage or not. I, we have got a video here by GGS Nageshwar sir, 
died to Shrinagar. I like to uh, play the video for you. Let us listen to what he says on extrapolating or scaffold. Linking the story. Are you comprehensive? How do you do it with Thank you, sir. So that is uh, about uh, scaffolding. Yeah, thank you so much. So that was about uh, scaffolding and there was a video on that one. Now we will see a simple demonstration of this reading class by another teacher. Uh, please do watch this and find, uh, find it interesting. Madam has tried a lot to uh, do all the three readings.
I'm sorry. I think uh, I could not share my video. I'll try to share again. Excuse me, I'm very sorry. I could not share my video. I'll, I'll be sharing it now. Hopefully you can see. Okay. Now let us see. Ready segment. Okay. Ready segment one. Okay. Now you open your textbook page number 67. At the desktop shop. And you have to see the segment. Starting from Ramo's mother. He is busy at home. To listen to them speaking. See from there to there you have to start reading. Now you have to do individual reading. See here. From here to up to where you have to read. Listen to them speaking. See where it is. From where to where you have to study. Did you see? Okay. Okay. Up to speaking you have to read. Okay. Now see. When you are doing individual reading. You have to remember three things. First of all, whatever words you are able to read, you have to underline those words. Whatever words you are unable to read, then you have to keep question mark at the top of the word. Whatever words you like the most, you have to keep star mark at the top of the word. Whatever words you are able to read, you have to underline. Whatever words you are unable to read, you have to keep question mark. Whatever words you like the most, you have to keep star. While you are doing individual reading, you have to put results. So, Madam is trying to uh, transact segment one, that is individual reading. She is asking students to do it. We know this process actually. So, the new thing that has come up is before this, there is picture interaction. So, that is the only thing that we need to keep in mind. We'll Look into uh, the collaborative reading. How she, how the maiden. Look at this. And now she asks the students to do it in a group. Each group will sit and then they will try to clarify their. Uh, doubts the peer learning happens here what is this word vegetables vegetables so the student understands it and then uh, he takes out that what mark is this from word? there lessons. Lessons. lessons so she removes question mark there So they sat together. What and is this word? And then there will be individual reading also. The teacher asks the students to read one what by one okay. randomly. Venda. Well, teacher is giving some extra quotation. You want to find. Ramo looks at the vegetables and listens to them speaking. So okay. finally, yes. Madam also is helping now, them to read. I think. She gave a loud reading. Now after that she will ask a few questions to make it clarified. So this video will be available. Let us watch it uh, leisurely so that we can understand the three readings that Madam has tried to demonstrate. So I was trying to show you a video that will help us to understand individual, collaborative, and a scaffolded reading and finally read aloud by the teacher. So reading part is very, very special because this time we have incorporated picture reading before each segment. I'll try to share the lesson plan now. Look at this one, sir. Re reading segment one has got picture interaction first. After that, there is reading segment that which goes with individual reading collaborative reading, and then scaffolded reading. And finally, reading allowed by teacher. There'll be some comprehension questions towards the end. After this, segment two, similar lines, segment two also, 
happens. We have taken another picture. The picture is not available in the text. So we have collected a picture. We have otherwise we have made a uh, we have made a collage here, and then we asked a few questions on that. After that, we generate subtext and then make them write a, uh, that is read by the teacher. So if text subtext is not available or we are not unable, we are not able to make subtext, then we need to give oral narrative there. Wherever there is no possibility of subtext, we need to have oral narrative. That's a new thing that we should remember. So segment two, again, same thing. It will have individual reading, collaborative, scaffolded, and so on. And segment three, again, we have picture here that is also taken from the textbook. We had some interaction with these questions. We tried generating subtext. Yes, there was subtext possible here. I found a purse, whose purse is this? This is my purse. So this is based on the text, on the picture. After this, there is reading allowed by the teacher and the students also read in groups. They read in individually also, then they're copied down the subtext. So this is the process that we need to remember. After that, there'll be reading segment three that will be read out by the students individually and then collaborative reading happens and then scaffolded finally reading allowed by the teacher. So this is how reading segment should be transacted. So the new thing, new thing that has come up is a picture before every segment that we transact should be properly selected and should be properly transacted in the class before the text. And after that, we have, uh, that is vocabulary. Before that, let us see the process in brief. We will try to see the process in very brief. This is itself. We had a picture interaction, keywords, phrases, and then generation of subtext happened. And there was oral narrative. And then reading in groups happened. And then individual reading happens. Finally, they'll be copying it down. That is writing part. On the day two, on the day two, we have text that is selected and individual reading, collaborative reading, extrapolation, and reading allowed by the teacher as usual. So the only change is with the day one, that is picture interaction. That's a new thing that we need to remember. And then talking about, if there is no question here, we will move to the last part. In a few minutes, we will try to wind up the session. Anything to be asked? Can we have any question from the participants? Well, if there is no uh, question as such, I will try to uh, talk a few, one thing about editing part. So after this one, we have a vocabulary, we have got a grammar part also to be transacted. Uh, so other components of this PPT uh, will be like uh, grammar, vocabulary, and creative writing. But because we don't have enough time, we will not get into these things, but we will try to just think about what is editing and what is not editing. Editing is not a process for uh, teaching grammar. Teacher asks questions that make learners reflect on certain aspects of grammar without using grammatical terms. There are some examples here given, sir. We will just read them out and then we will close this slide. There is a problem with the word order. We can use these statements. Instead of saying this is wrong, we can use these statements. There is a problem with the word order. What change would you like to make? So we can underline a sentence part that contains omitted word and ask, a word is missing here. Can you supply that? So such kind of lines, such kind of sentences we can ask to edit any sentence that is given. So there is a problem here for, for the word form. Do you want the boy play or boy plays, which is correct? So such questions will help us in editing part. So far we have seen reading uh, transaction, 
Before that, Madhu sir has explained about uh, picture interaction. And then we have seen reading, how to transact reading. And then finally, we have uh, uh, tried to see the process of reading. And the only new thing that has come up is having picture. So for everything, let us have picture. Based on that picture only, we can make the student understand. I think somebody could question, uh, have a question so that we will have an interaction. Right. Yes, sir. If there is, there are no. If there are no questions, uh, we'll try to wind uh, wind here. Right, sir. I think uh, my voice is audible. I have some technical problem here. Right, we will try to uh, summarize things what we have seen so far today. If my screen is uh, clear. We had seen the learning strategies. We have seen uh, English transaction modules. We have seen learning outcomes and prior concepts and skills. And later we have seen picture interaction and uh, finally reading transaction of the lesson. So we have discussed briefly about reading, pre-reading, reading and post-reading. Post-reading, we have just seen one screen. And then we have got, we have already seen prior concepts, skills that have been discussed. And most importantly, this is the thing that we are, we have discussed that is I do, we do and you do. And if you have not uh, uh, listened to the beginning of this uh, session, uh, I'd like to show you this slide and then close the session. Sir. So I do, we do, and you do. So this is what the whole uh, summary of what we are doing. SERT has given us a lesson plan that we have three columns, I do, we do, and you do. And uh, let us remember, I do part is the part that is teacher, transaction part. So that is the teaching period that we do. And we do part and you do part is the practice part. So in the lesson plan, we don't exactly show what is teaching period and what is practice period. But all I do parts are teaching periods and all we do and you do parts are practice periods. Please let us make note of this one. I'll try to sh show you the lesson plan to make it clear. So in this lesson plan, we have got uh, these topics, totally 21 periods. Here we don't show it as number of periods as TP and PP, because all I do part will be the, I do part will be the teaching periods and the we do and you do parts are the practice periods. So here in this pre-reading part, there are three periods totally. So in these three periods, one is the teaching part that is uh, teacher's part, that is I do. So one teaching period, and then we do and you do will be the practice periods. Please make note of this one. And when it comes to reading part here at the vegetable shop, so we have got, we got here six periods, like, you know, we divided three periods, three slots. 
So one will be I do part that is teaching part. And then the second period will be the we do part that is practice period. So we, if the time does not support, like if it is not enough, we can even try to one more uh, period. So we have divided three slots and each slot we have taken only two periods. So we're making it as six periods. In that there are three teaching periods and three practice periods. Similarly for vocabulary also, for vocabulary exercises, one is a teaching period, another one is the practice period. So that is the division that we need to understand, sir. It is, we should not, we should not mention it as teaching and practice periods, but all I do parts are, uh, the, are the teaching periods. So I do is a direct instruction or demonstration. It is model. It is teacher thinking aloud. So this is the part where teacher is teaching. So this is the teaching period. And in the video part, actually the student with the help of teacher tries to uh, understand the lesson, understand the exercises, anything that is given. So he tries to uh, write down, he tries to generate lines, generate summaries. So in that way, there is a possibility of uh, practice. And in you do part completely, the student depends on his own understanding because he has already listened to the teacher and now he tries to write on his own. So that is the you do part. So this is practice. So we do and you do will be practice periods. It is unlike other subjects because they have teaching period and practice period separately. But in English, we have uh, I do, we do, you do. I do is the teaching period. If there are any questions, we will discuss. Otherwise, we will uh, call it a day. Any questions from participants? You can even put in the chat box, sir, so that we will try to discuss. Well, all these material like PPTs and then videos will be put in a folder and those can be downloaded or we can share those. So when we go to the teachers and then try to tell them the new thing, two things that we need to tell. One is in English, we try to use pictures a lot to make students understand, number one. Number two is very importantly, that for every reading part, for every reading part, there is one additional period that is picture interaction period. So we need to collect a few more pictures there. So this thing we need to uh, take to the teachers, make them write the lesson plan in very detail so that it will be useful for them to transact in the classroom. So the lesson plans are already uh, printed in the module, in the handbook. So handbook can be a very good resource for class six, class seven, class eight, there is one model lesson plan given. So that can be made use of. If there are any questions in the chat box also, we can respond to sir. Sir, 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 I think Rashid is sir, I think some, yeah. Sir, if there is any question, we can have a discussion for five minutes, sir, and then we will wait. Well, uh, if there are no questions, we will wind it. I think somebody is speaking.
So this is the lesson plan, sir. First, we, we, we divide the classes here, the topics here, sorry, and number of periods that we have allotted. And then this is a learning outcome. This is a learning outcome. For every component, we have given the learning outcomes for the lesson. And then prior concepts or skills that are required for the student. We write it as usual, but there is only one difference. Like, you know, we have a detailed description here. So far we have written in a very nutshell, but this is little more detailed. So that, so that the teacher will get enough support here. So this is reading segment one, here it starts. So the lesson plan is shared, so this is sixth class. We have got seventh and eighth also ready in the handbook. And I like to pause a minute here. I like to pause a minute here. This is vocabulary. For vocabulary transaction also, for vocabulary transaction also, many may have a question. How do we transact vocabulary? Here also we can take a picture or we can even take another example and then try to describe it with the help of questions. So here the display a picture showing different kinds of vegetables. We're sorry that the picture is missing here. And then try to ask few questions and ask them to find the meanings also using dictionary. And then the next, on the next day they come and they do the exercises given in the textbook. So the picture is moved here actually. And then the, when, when it comes to grammar also same thing, we have taken a picture which is not in the textbook, we transacted it and then we move to the textbook exercises. So for everything, a picture will be help, helpful. So picture interaction should happen uh, at the very beginning of the lesson. It should happen in each slot before the each slot. And finally, even in vocabulary or in grammar part also, we need to have pictures. So this detailed lesson plan is present in our modules, uh, handbooks. So let us uh, go through them. Right. Any questions before we wind the session? Well, sir, okay, if there are no questions, I think uh, we'll wind the session. So thanks for uh, listening to the session uh, patiently. And these are the contributors for the module. And thank you so much. Thank you so much, uh, all participants from all the diets.